As the largest provider of post-secondary education and workforce training in the state, the Kentucky Community and Technical College System is a proud partner of the Shaping Our Appalachian Region Initiative. Hi, I'm Jay Box, president of KCTCS. And with 16 colleges and more than 70 campuses across the Commonwealth, our system-wide network of colleges touches every community in Kentucky and is responsive to the needs of our state's students, business, and industry leaders. In fact, five of our colleges, Ashland, Big Sandy, Hazard, Somerset, and Southeast Kentucky, just so happen to operate within the SOAR region. They have served more than 110,000 first-generation college students since 2008 and awarded more than 41,000 degrees and credentials since 2010. Working with SOAR, we're ready to help pave the way for innovation across Eastern Kentucky by connecting people with opportunities through programs focused on community development, entrepreneurship, fiber optics, information technology, and more. Our mission has always been, and will always be, the same, to improve the lives and employability of Kentuckians. So we welcome you to be a part of KCTCS, where we can help you learn to soar. Hello, I'm Devin Stevenson, President and CEO of Big Sandy Community and Technical College and the SOAR Liaison for the Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Leaders, especially entrepreneurial leaders, see opportunities before they become obvious to others. The community and technical colleges of the SOAR region are on the front lines of transformation in workforce, community, and economic development. We are creating new and innovative career pathways and evaluating existing programs and curriculum to align with the needs of business and industry. As we continue on this journey of regional transformation, we must work collaboratively within a unified vision with purpose, resolve, and tenacity to transform our region one person, one opportunity at a time. That's why we are a proud partner of the SOAR initiative. At Ashland Community and Technical College, students have the opportunity to train using state-of-the-art equipment with alternative energy. This was made possible through a grant by Kentucky Power. We're trying to stay current with what's happening nationwide, I think, and we've seen a lot of solar systems being installed on, on structures, commercial buildings, a lot of industrial buildings in this area too as well, and a lot of private homeowners are also going that, that way as well. AP has given uh, several grants to the college, and two of which were for the alternative energy. You can see the trainer in the background, uh, which was about a $15,000 trainer and allows the students to be able to understand how that the voltage is going across the circuit, how the circuit works, how it's transferred from AC to DC. In addition, we had a, a grant given before for a 100-foot wind turbine tower, and that turbine is actually out in, in uh, across from the school, being able to go out in the field and then come in and here work on the trainer as well. Tell our prospective students, I say, look, you know, uh, you're not just the old hands-on, turn a screwdriver, strip a wire type uh, electrician anymore. This is a high-tech field, and it's going to continue to get more high-tech as uh, you know, with trainers like this and, and technology that requires a, a, a much smarter electrician. There's future in fiber. Through the efforts of Kentucky Wired and an innovative public-private partnership, Eastern Kentucky will be home to a robust fiber network that will open our mountains and valleys to the global economy. 
Big Sandy Community and Technical College started its fiber optic training program in the summer of 2015 to address the demand to find qualified workers for the installation and maintenance of the Kentucky I Highway Network. We have people coming from at least 13 states to Pikeville for training. We we really believe in the FOA certification that's Fiber Optics Association sanctioned. It is definitely spurring entrepreneurship in our community and jobs. Broadband and fiber is, is going to be a catalyst for entrepreneurship and the ability to grow small businesses and, and do businesses globally. It's, it's important that we have the capabilities to do business anywhere in the world. Our small businesses in our area make up the largest portion of our local economy given that the coal industry is down. We have students that are currently laid off coal miners that are working on the East Coast now, all the way from New York to Florida, doing broadband technology. But we also have some local laid off coal miners that are working right here in Eastern Kentucky and they're, they're earning really top wages, definitely comparable to that in the coal industry. It, it's so important that we be that catalyst that brings new jobs to Eastern Kentucky. Big Sandy Community and Technical College will break ground of the state's first advanced technology center on its Pikeville campus. The building was made possible by more than $3.2 million in grants by the Economic Development Agency, Appalachian Regional Commission, and Community Development Block Grant. The facility will be home to a broadband technology associate degree program, the first of its kind in Kentucky. Hazard Community and Technical College has attracted national attention with its lineman program. Through a collaboration with Kentucky Power and American Electric Power, the program has provided a career pathway for dislocated workers. Hazard Community and Technical College is striving to become a driver of economic diversification in the Southeast Kentucky region. One of our uh, programs that has had much success is our electrical lineman training program. That program recently won the Community Colleges of Appalachia Outstanding Workforce Development Award. We have had 117 completers and we've completed six training classes. That program began as a collaborative partnership between HCTC, Business and Industry, and Eastern Kentucky Concentrated Employment Program, our local WIB. We got together and we looked at the situation we were in, which was thousands of mining jobs lost in the area. We looked at what types of jobs were available, where were their vacancies, and what types of jobs would allow for a comparable wage to what folks were used to making in the mines. We have so many people who have been laid off who are coming back to training to learn new skills, to learn 21st century skills, and we can do that. And we can bring our region back up, and I think there's so many opportunities for the Southeast Kentucky region. At Somerset Community College, they have launched a Kentucky Federation for Advanced Manufacturing Education program. This partnership of regional manufacturers is paving the way for dual track apprenticeship style training that will provide a pipeline for highly skilled workers for business and industry. One of the struggles that we as manufacturers have is finding skilled trades and uh, it's estimated by 2020 there will be a shortage of machine maintenance technicians of around 2 million people. And so it's very difficult right now to recruit uh, and to retain machine maintenance technicians. Uh, incredible program. I mean, prior to this program, I don't think any of us understood what we were going to do. And we all used the same tactic um, to, to go out and try to secure resources. And just, they just weren't there. The program is basically going to build that pipeline of skilled trade individuals as we move forward. I'm, I'm learning electricity, hydraulics, robotics, PLCs. Um, and with this information, you know, I could have a very good job, you know, for many years. Manufacturing is very competitive, it's very clean, it's very safe, it's a different career than it was 40 years ago. And so to get that message to the families and to start to steer more students towards that career, I think is very important. Going to school, learning at the same time, high paying job, it sounds like a good choice for me. At Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College, they are positioning themselves to handle the increasing needs of the region they serve. With the allied health and technical programs expanding rapidly, Southeast is helping to fill the void of skilled laborers. Oh, the nursing program is so important to this area and this region because of the need for nurses. Right now, we are going to need over 500,000 new nurses 
within the, just the next few years. And we need to provide the best health care possible to all of the area, to the people within this region and throughout the state and the Commonwealth and the United States. They can work any place they want to. So this is a wonderful opportunity for our students. In the Industrial Technology Division, we've got a, 11 different programs available to us. And we're specifically trying to train the students to go to work. The local economy uh, benefits greatly from the different training programs that we have available because it gives them a pool of uh, qualified employees to bring into work and have them just job ready as they enter, as opposed to the training period that's usually required for a new student that's you know, not qualified. And starting this fall, Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College will take another leap into the future with the beginning of a new certificate program to train fiber optic technicians. Shaping our Appalachian region presents opportunities for us to impact a generation of learners, opportunity seekers, entrepreneurs, trade workers, scholars, and leaders that will impact our region now and for generations to come. Join us, and together, we will soar.